Nick Hilk is outside the London Stadium, West Ham Fan TV. Dom, um, great performance. Can't, can't complain with that. Scrappy performance, I think. No, I think you've been a bit harsh there, It mate. was a good performance, but it was a very scrappy win. We can't be too we can't be too picky about how we win in a game in our situation though. Watford are a similar team to us, you know. Everyone was shitting themselves after the result Monday night. I wasn't so shitting myself because they're the type of team like us who go and beat a big boy and then come to a team like us and lose. It's how it goes, but we're full value, I thought. We soaked up the pressure. I mean, to be fair, it was, I thought it was a bit of a knife edge at 1-0, Nick, to be honest with you, but we soaked up the pressure, defended very well. Could have, to be fair, mate, we, we did create a few dodge chances. It could have been about three, but I'll take, I'll take a 2-0. Made yeah. some good saves, the goalkeeper. One offside, what I'm not sure about. I didn't see it. I was thirsty. I went for a drink of water. Well, <laughs> um, no, I thought it was a very good performance. But an out of itch was the difference today. I mean, the way that bloke performs, he's, he runs his heart out like for everything. What I say when he got injured, we'll struggle. Look how much difference he made when he came back. Yeah. We missed him. We can't afford for him to get injured again or send it off. But it's, 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 it could happen again, though. That's the worrying thing. Yeah. We ain't got a replacement. Now, big win today, Nicky, but I'm afraid I've got to say papers over the cracks. <laughs> They'll be tweeting tonight, the owners. All positivity, board in lot, positivity, we won. I think it's I, gonna be all right. To be honest with you, Dom, I think it's important that we separate the team from the owners. I know we've got our issues with the owners, but we've got to get behind the team. And we've got the team that we've got. The reason we ain't got the players that we need is because of the owners. Now, it's, it's important to separate that. I can't bring myself, though. I think, I think there's bigger problems at this club. A win today isn't going to take away the fact that we're still a fucking terribly run club. You look at the bigger picture, Nick. Next season, we'll probably be... The next, the next season, it could be a lot worse. We're cinema stage when we were last year now. He's got a video come out today that... I don't watch bullshit. I'm not going to watch it. I will not watch it. I haven't seen it. I don't watch bullshit. It's all a load of bollocks from him. He's done it before and time and time again and hasn't delivered. It's not going to change, Nick. But the march coming up on a march of 10th, I think it might have frightened him or, or forced him, forced his hand a little bit. Ruffled a few feathers. It's not, forcing his hand isn't good enough. Is it going to change the way he deals? No. Guy's been in football 25 years. What's he done? Fuck all. Been relegated five times. It's not enough, is it? You know? And this is why people need to wake up. This is why I'm happy. At, like, don't get me wrong, Nick. I might not sound it. You know, I might not feel it. But I'm, I'm glad we won today. But I can't, get, I, can't, I can't be happy too much because there are bigger problems at this club that need to be addressed. And they're not being addressed properly. What do you do? There's, a worry, there's still worrying times ahead, Nicky. No, this no, will, I agree. This will do us a favour. This will do us a world of good. But it's still fucking tight down there. It's only five points clear at the bottom three, you know. It, it's a lot less tight than before today. It's negative here, but listen, my I, I know what you're saying. We've all wake seen up. it before. We've all seen it before. Um, in terms of the performance, it was a good performance. A week off don't do us much favours. Then we go to Liverpool. So how important was today's win? Oh, very important, Nicky. But, you know, you always say a week off will do us good. Now, you look at Liverpool, it's not all doom and gloom. We haven't lost there in three games. I've never seen us lose at Anfield. Uh, could change. Famous last words, mate. Yeah, I know, but you look at Liverpool, they're like us, Nick. Two Jekyll and Hyde. Well, I said this before we played them in the reverse fixture. More they Jekyll than Hyde, though. <laughs> no, they are Jekyll and Hyde. Yeah, but more Jekyll than Hyde. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. That's why they sit in third yeah. or fourth. But how many times have we seen teams like us down there go to Anfield and frustrate them? I think that's what we've got to do. Park the bus for 90 minutes. See what happens. They're a type of team, they can't see games out. Look at last week. Yeah. Of course, that really comes to it, though. Enjoy the win today. But anyway, the owner's going to tweet tonight, and I'm going to tell him to fuck off because. That's, the way, that's the way you go. Changes. All right, mate. Thank you very much, Tom. No worries, mate.